What's up, G? Hope you guys are all doing super well. I have not made one of these videos in about like half a year, but your boy's back. Die David's dead. We bringing back the Munch Pack series. I'm sure everyone watching this video knows what it is. So I'm not gonna waste my time explaining it, but I just wanna say this right off the bat. You're probably gonna wanna watch until the end of this video because I'm giving away a lot of these. This jacket is way too hot. <laughs> Why do I look so goddamn pale? God damn, I need a tan. First thing we gotta do is open this, and I don't have my knife with me, so I'm using my keys, which works perfectly. I hope you all had an amazing week. It's Friday, so you know what? We can all kick back and just take it easy. And maybe be a little naughty. <laughs> Let's get right into this. I'm not gonna look. Here we go, opening up the munch pack. Dig my hand in here, pick something out. Popping candy by Boom. Or wait, that's not the company, is it? Who made this shit? Uh, I don't know, but it's watermelon flavored and it's artificial so you know I'm being so naughty this video eating this I usually only eat fresh ingredients but today I say nay nay let's treat my body like a goddamn dumpster. Just by shaking the bag, I can tell that this is probably like Pop Rocks. I like the packaging though, like look at this stuff. That's way better than Pop Rocks. So right off the bat, this is a W. We will see what the flavor, of course, it comes in these little bags. Open it up. I'm gonna dump the entire bag in. Oh, actually, let me show you guys what it looks like first. Oh my God! As you can see here, guys, look at the pink stuff. That's the candy, but all that white stuff around it is just sugar. This is definitely not too healthy, but it's a candy. It's Friday and I'm gonna treat myself because why not? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, 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 oh my god, I'm drooling. It's that watermelon flavor I don't like. I like real watermelon. I would have to say pass on the popping candy. Maybe they have other... <laughs> I choked on it. Maybe they have other flavors that I really enjoy, but the watermelon one... <laughs> I would have to pass. Moving on to my next thing. Covered, yes, yes! Just buy the brand right here. What is this, Covered Bridge? I know it's a good quality chip because recently I went into this hipster ass store where everything is overpriced and guess what they had in the chip section? This shit! So I know this shit's about to be legit, but whoa, whoa! These are lobster flavored chips. We had to get in the passenger seat. This is just too zoo. But who knows, maybe my taste buds are off and these are actually naughty. We're gonna open the bag, we're gonna give it a little sniffy sniff at first because I'm not trying to get sick today. <sighs> Shout outs to all my Asians out there. This smells like the shrimp, uh, you know the shrimp chips? It smells exactly like that. But this is not shrimp, it's supposed to be lobster, so I don't know why it smells like that. Let's go in close, see if there's a nice crunch factor. Oh yeah, it's crunchy. I've tasted lobster a lot in my life, and uh, guys, this doesn't taste anything like lobster. Like, at all. Maybe this second chip will make me change my mind. Look, it's full of flavor. Mmm. -hmm. No, the flavor is just not there. I do give them a shout out for trying to put lobster in a chip, but uh, these are old. Come on, give me something good already. Next up, we got. What the heck is this? Pezitos Casaba snacks. They're just like these little balls. Kind of looks like crackers. I'm not sure what to expect. Oh, wait. It says right here. Cheese snacks. So maybe these are cheese balls, but the Latin version. Where is this made? It is a product of Colombia. Shout out to one of my favorite shows on Netflix, Narcos. If you haven't seen that show, go watch it. Maybe these are filled with cocaine. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. oh. cheese ball they need to repackage this change cheese to freaking fish snack that had such a strong flavor of fish this is a freaking haddock ball ain't no cheese ball here i'm starting to think i'm just a very picky eater because the popping candies were not bad not bad let's go into item number four what do we got here what are these what no 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 we just got fettuccine Yes, you heard that right. Fettuccine Alfredo. Those are noodles. They turned pasta into a gummy candy. Your mod. They're really running out of ideas here. <coughs> Who in their right mind is ever craving fettuccine pasta in gummy form. Please find me one person in the world that is down for that. I mean, the guy who made this is obviously down, but besides him. Or her, relax, they just take it easy. Oh, yo. Not gonna lie, the smell out of the bag is delicious. I just wanna close this up and savor that smell because it's actually good. But here it is, a string of fettuccine gummy candy. Down the hatch. 
Nice little sour kick to it. Mmm, the texture actually makes it feel like you're eating pasta. This is a good gummy candy and the perfect editing snack. This is the best thing so far. Moving on to our next thing. We got... Wait, what? Yo, Munchback is up in their game. I just got coffee. They must know I love coffee, obviously. Artesian roasted coffee. German chocolate cake flavor. That is so naughty. Obviously, I have to taste that for some other time because what am I going to do? Just eat the coffee grinds? <laughs> German chocolate cake! Such a bad idea. It's getting a little cold now. It's not summer anymore. I need to take it easy. Coco Saetti Sandwich. If you look closely right up there, what brand is that? That's Nestle. And we all know that's a well known brand, so this should be really good. Oh, it's coconut. The coconut tree, coconut. The, you know, there's a coconut right there. Now I'm kind of stressed because I'm not the biggest coconut fan. If Bongo is here, he would be so. So H, you'd eat all four of these cookies in probably like two seconds. But I'm gonna keep an open mind. Look at this. You got the coconut cheese right on the cookie. If these taste anything like the Bounty chocolate bar, yo, it's over. Cause uh, that's just me though. I don't like coconut. Not bad, not bad. Very, very sweet. And I can see myself eating this because the coconut flavor isn't too overwhelming for me. I'm gonna eat the rest of this. Mmm. Next up we have, I've gotten these in a previous munch pack, they're basically Starburst, but like, maybe even better. They're coming straight into bed with me if you catch my drift. I'm gonna put them up my butt. Look at these, we got, how do you even say that? Poochow! Gummy soft candy, mango flavored, ooh, I'm down, mango is delicious. Look at it, it's so cute, it comes in these little packages. The hole is still there where the mango candy was injected, let's give this a taste. The flavor hits you right away, damn, yo, poochow. Now, this is the perfect editing snack. These are the exact same as Hai Chu. If you ever had Hai Chu, you've had Pu Chow. It's a vibe. And these might even be the perfect driving snack. Fudge, plastic, soft, and delicate. Look at the cow's nostrils. Looks like mine. Here. These look naughty. Wow. I did not expect it to be this big. Look at this. Cool little wrapper that it comes in. Never seen something like this before. Let's open it up. Hey, it's just like a fudge square. Oh, whoa. That is soft. I just took a little bite. Look. Falls right off. Kind of has like the Werther's original kind of vibes, if you know what those are. Not bad, not bad. Not going to lie, for me personally, I wish they were a little bit more on the hard side because this will melt in your mouth in under a minute. The saliva in your mouth does all the work for you. I mean, if you're lazy, then this is your shit. And last but not least, we got some lemon flavored chips. It kind of looks like ruffles, but it's actually risottas. If you look right here, it says lemon flavored, but guys, last time I checked, I think this was a lime. That's a pretty big mess up, you know? Like they even colored the entire bag green. It should be yellow. Wow. These are delicious. You know what kind of vibes these are? These are like the, you only go trick or treating. This is something that tastes like you got it on Halloween night. It's a little sour, but like the perfect amount. Mmm. This is a perfect editing snack. Just know when I'm editing this video, I'm munching on the rest of this bag behind the scenes. But that is everything. The munch pack is now empty. I hope you guys found that entertaining. Um, if anyone finds Daya Dave, yo, let me know. Hit me up on Twitter or something. But shout out to everyone who stayed until the end of this video because guess what? Your boy Big Dig Dave is giving away 10 of these. 10 of you lucky Parodians will get a munch pack from your boy. And I'm gonna make this giveaway so simple for you guys. All you have to do, number one is go follow me on Instagram. My handle is at David Parody. I got the blue check mark, I'm verified. So you know which one is the real Big Dick Dave. If you already follow me on Instagram, congratulations, you played yourself. Go make another account. I'm obviously kidding. If you already follow me on Instagram, you don't have to do number one. Number two, you have to find this picture right here and leave a comment down below that you want the Munch pack. You can write anything, but just leave a comment so I can see your username and then hit you up in the DMs. I'm gonna give you guys until Sunday night. So like, I'm posting this Friday. You got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then on Sunday night, I'm gonna pick 10 winners to get their very own Munch pack. Good luck to everyone. Have an amazing weekend. Work hard, stay focused, hustle, and I will see you guys very soon. <laughs> Ow. Oh, that hurt my neck. That one actually hurt. Oh, God.